We have markets uh, in most places in the world, certainly in the United States, the allocation system is markets. I believe it should be abolished. We should, that is, we should replace markets with a different kind of allocation. Why? Well, markets, I think, are, are, are perhaps the single most destructive human creation in, since the dawn of time uh, in their overall impact. What do they produce? They produce a war of each against all. And in that war of each against all, a great many lose. So for instance, even in the United States, which is the richest country on earth, largely due to ripping off uh, many other countries that are weaker, in the United States there are 30 million poor people. 30 million. There are 7 million homeless people. That's not an allocation system which is sort of distributing the responsibilities and the benefits of economic activity in a humane fashion. You can't, you can't even remotely think that if you have a population of, I don't know, 280, 300 million people, 30 million of them should be poor, and 7 million of them should be homeless, and a much larger number than that should be constantly on the edge of insolvency, and that that's a sensible allocation of the, of the benefits of, of, produ of production. Nor can you think, for instance, that it makes sense for huge, huge amounts of the social creativity and talent and energy of a population to go into producing things that are useless or that are damaging or that are harmful. Um, and yet markets do that all the time. It doesn't make sense from a human point of view to divide up work the way we do in a way that that sort of ensures that about 80 percent of the population is doing just rote and tedious and repetitive work and just has to, has to learn how to endure boredom and take orders. But markets produce that division. So markets have all sorts of ill effects. Another one that's dramatic is we, the advocates of markets would say, well, it's, a, it's not a perfect system. Nobody thinks it's a perfect system, but it's the best of all possible ones, and it's, it's pretty damn good. It does a pretty good job of, of ascertaining the relative values of things, and they just keep repeating that. Well, imagine a, a engineer who said, well, I did a reasonably good job of figuring out the tolerance that's relevant to the, to the bridge or to the building, and I was only off by a factor of 10 after all. In other words, I said it was 1 and it was 10. Well, take the price of oil or gas. If you actually factored in all of the social costs and benefits of the production and consumption of a gallon of gas, it should cost way, way more than it does, not less. Because what's not taken into account is the pollution. What's not taken into account is the destruction of, of the climate and the resulting effects that will be gargantuan on people's lives. And as a result, the wrong decision is made. The same, I mean, there's a million examples that you can take. Uh, in which markets misprice everything. They misprice in a way which biases the, the direction of the economy to be antisocial, to, be, to, to advance the few to the detriment of the many. And they, they create a kind of a mindset of, of a rat race, of, of trying to get ahead at the expense of others. Nice guys finish last. If you if you're nice, if you care about others, you're at a disadvantage. If you run a workplace and you care about the environment, you say, I don't want to harm the neighborhood in which I am, you're at a disadvantage compared to any workplace that's willing to operate more cheaply by spewing its garbage into the neighborhood. So you lose and you go out of business. And so pretty soon you stop doing that. You learn to behave in a totally egocentric, totally self-serving manner. And that's what markets produce. And, you know, so I, I want to abolish them in the same way somebody would say who lived in a dictatorship <coughs> and who didn't think it was going to go away anytime soon, but would still say, if asked, if they were honest, well, yeah, of course I want to abolish dictatorship. Of course I want a society in which people are free and can express themselves and so on and so forth. We don't have it yet. I'm working for it. But maybe we'll get to it, or we will get to it. Well, that's what I say about markets.